I'm Holly Gaff. I'm a professor of biological sciences here at Old Dominion University, and I am part of the Old Dominion University Tick Research Team. Our goal is to study and understand the risks of ticks, exposure, and tick-borne disease here in Hampton Roads and beyond, trying to understand what these creatures are doing, where they're coming from, where they're going, and eventually getting back to figuring out what we can do about it. So these are Gulf Coast tick females. It's one of the species that has more recently moved into our area from the south. So it's a range-expanding species. It can transmit the pathogen that causes what's called either tide water spotted fever or rickettsia can make you ill. So we've been tracking this um, recent range expansion into our area and uh, they're a very aggressive tick. They like to bite us. Um, it is the only tick I've ever encountered where you can actually feel the bite. Most of the time they're stealth, but you can see the size of these. You can see her front legs moving quite a bit. That's actually where their sensory organs are. About this size, which is the American dog tick size, you'll often find them on the heads. But this is much more likely to what you're encountering um, in our area, which is a, a lone star nymph. And then there's larvae that come even smaller than that. So this tick is at least a year and a half old has eight legs and is looking to try and find food so that it can then molt in about a year to becoming an adult when it would feed again, mate, and then lay eggs and then start the whole process again. They'll interact looking for a blood meal, then they fall back into the leaf litter and just basically go into hibernation for the next eight months. Doing nothing, you can't find them, and until they're back up questing again the following year for food. Lone Stars, the majority, 95% of what we've collected We've collected about 300,000 ticks at this point, and 95% of them are Lone Star ticks. Are mostly spring, summer, fall. So the, the larvae are in the fall. If one was successful, it will come up in the spring, summer. June is kind of our peak for nymphs. If they feed successfully, then it'll be another full year for the adults to come up, and then they'll lay their eggs, create larvae, and start the whole process again. Now, if you talk about the black-legged tick, which is the one that can give you Lyme disease, the adults are up in the winter and the larvae and nymphs are in the spring. So a similar kind of big cycle. So the majority of ticks that we have to worry about are, June is our big season, right? But there honestly has never been a week of the year that we haven't gone out somewhere in our area and found a tick.